Hey everyone, Elspeth here. I've noticed that what happened on the final episode on season two of Far Verona is making its way through social media. I've been thinking about what to say since it happened. Since my character, Johnny Collins, a very old synthetic bartender, was in this scene, I wanted to give my thoughts on the situation and how it affected me as a player. And yes, I wrote all this out because I'd like to be as clear and understood as possible. There is a trigger warning for sexual assault here, just so that you're aware. In the last episode of Far Verona, my character Johnny takes the group to a mechanic named Rocket, where Johnny states that he's been several times. This is the first time we, the audience, and the players have met this character. Johnny, however, trusts the people and the synths here, saying that he's gone here before to get fixed or patched up. In the last few scenes, my character is asked by Adam's character if he'll join him in the back room. Vanna's character Haley stops Johnny and says something like, How about I come with you? We don't know this guy. Adam's character bristles at this because he doesn't want Vanna's character joining himself and Johnny. Johnny says it's going to be okay. This is a good guy. He's been here before, etc. And then Johnny and Haley establish a safe word, which is just help. So since Johnny and the rest of the cast had gotten hurt from an explosion earlier, Johnny gets back there thinking, cool, I'm going to get patched up and be on my, my way like before. Instead, Adam decides that's somehow the perfect time for his NPC Rocket to start hitting on Johnny. Johnny backs up because he doesn't know what Rocket is doing. Then seeing Rocket's disappointment, he says, Hey, I'm down for new adventures. What does that mean to Johnny? Definitely not what happened next, which was getting an orgasm plugged into his sockets with some device that Rocket claims he's used many times. The kicker here is that before the episode, Adam wanted to know more about story arcs that I envisioned for Johnny. I said he definitely wanted upgrades to get rid of that bit crusher on his voice. We wanted to know more about the bartender who replaced Johnny. And specifically, I wanted Johnny to be able to say no to more people, including his friends. The way the episode ended was Johnny laying down willingly and then having this completely alien sensation happen. He was expecting upgrades. He barely has the concept of romance. Then Adam ends the episode there, leaving no room for Johnny to refuse or even just punch Rocket for violating his space. It felt very premeditated, and I was shocked and angry. After everything went down and people were expressing their discomfort, I messaged Adam saying that this was not what I envisioned for Johnny. He apologized for misreading my intent. I'm not sure how one could misread the intent to get fixed up as, let's give this guy an orgasm, but it happened despite the red flags anyway. I lost faith and trust in Adam as a GM, even after role-playing with him before. Hell, I might have even lost faith in him as a friend. Adam continues to say that the game mechanics were not properly in place and that as a group, we should have discussed this prior to starting the show. Sure, that's a good idea in hindsight, but if you need to have a talk with your cast beforehand that you're planning on introducing a sexual predator NPC to one of their characters, I guarantee you not one person would be okay with that, especially not in front of hundreds of people. This isn't a question about what could have prevented it when Adam is literally the one in charge. After rewatching the episode multiple times, I was no longer open to having my character or my name tied to the story, so I quit. And that's it. The rest of the cast and the production team of Far Verona continue to be wonderful people who I look forward to working with in the future. For now, these are my thoughts and feelings on the matter. To all the fans of the show and of Johnny, I thank you for watching and thanks for hearing me out. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.